not demons. It is not spirits. It is ourselves. So I want us to, to read this verse and then we shall see what the verse will talk about. The Bible says, the weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish the strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretentious that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, Paul is writing the letter to the people who thought that they were possessed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So now he's telling them to say, we are in the fight, but the, 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 the weapons that we use, they are not the weapons of, what, of this world. We, we have got weapons that are divine and very much powerful. And these ones, they are able to put down the, what, the, the strongholds. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. what, now the question is, what are the strongholds? Hallelujah. Strongholds are the thoughts that has come into our minds. That makes you think that you cannot do something better in life. Because somebody came and told you, or you have seen the, 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 the pattern of failures, or the pattern of bad things happening in your family, or among your friends. So because of the thing that is happening around you, they have come into your mind. And you, you think that you cannot do what other people are doing better. So these are the strongholds. This type of strongholds, they corrupt the thoughts. The thoughts that are not good. As long as you still have that thing in your mind, people can pray for you, you can fast, you can go to Sangma, you can go to church, you can do whatever that you are doing. As long as your mind is not corrected, still you feel yourself what failing. So the Bible says we have got the what the weapons, and those weapons they are very much powerful and they are divine to destroy the what the, 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 the strongholds that is where in our mind. Hallelujah. Now, what is that weapon that are we going to use? Hallelujah. It is the, whip, the weapon, it is the information, the correct information. If you <coughs> have the wrong information, you cannot make it in life. Hallelujah. So, I am here just to try to talk to you. That as you are about to start the writing, hallelujah, as you are about to start the writing, try to change the perspective in life. Try to change the way you see things. Where, why, are you, why are you even writing that, that exam? Why are, you, why are you writing it? Why are you coming to school? The reason why some people fail is because they don't have a bright view of their future. You always see yourself here. But when somebody comes and gives you the better information, you say, you still have got chance. You still have got chance to do something better in life. And when you have that type of information, then you'll be able to what you'll be able to do something better with what? With your, your life. And then the Bible says that we demolish arguments and every petition. What is the arguments? The arguments <coughs> is those negative words that you have inside your mind, which is always saying this thing you don't need to write, you don't need to pass, you can make it. Those negative arguments. When you are sitting down, they are coming to tell you, no, you don't have to start, go to three. You don't have to, to start the whole night, go and do ABCD. Those are the what the arguments. So the Bible says the weapons that we have, it destroys the what the arguments. Because the greatest enemy is not your neighbor. The greatest enemy is not that witch. The greatest enemy is not anyone. The greatest enemy it is the seed that you have put inside your mind. The seed, if you have got the rotten seed, it will give you the arguments for you not to do better in life. If you have got that seed, it will, it will make you lose power. You are going to lose focus. You are not going to concentrate. You, it will tell you you must live life now because tomorrow you don't know if it is going to be there. So we are going to pray that God is going to help you, that you are going to have the, the, the right focus. You will know why am I writing this exam? Why am I here? into the school. Where do I see next year? Hallelujah. Because some of us, we don't even know where we see. 
ourselves in January next year. We don't have that courage to see even yourself in the university. You want to see yourself moving around you to know things are very hard. Once you think like that, it is very difficult for you to make it in life. They say we win before we enter into the fight. Just like the way we lose before we enter into the what into the fight. What what do you mean? Things that you tell yourself before you begin to write exams is the thing that is going to happen. So if you give up, say no, this thing is going to be hard. Already you have lost. Look what happened to David and Goliath. Goliath was a big and a very huge guy, but David was a small guy. When David says, Goliath, today I am going to chop your head and I will even give it to the world, to the base of the head. David was saying that he did not have the sword in the hand. He wanted the stone. How can the stone remove the what? Remove the head of a person. But Goliath who had everything. He could not defeat David. Why? Because David, he had the right words. He motivated himself. He says, today it is the day I will chop your head. Hallelujah. So I don't know the subject that is giving you problems. It is the time to tell you, say, no, next week or when we start writing exam, I'm going to chop your head. I'm going to pass you. But if you just say that subject, don't tear. Already you are, you are, you are, you are, you are already beaten. So today, talk to, to yourself. The subject that is giving you problems, that's the, the challenge. You cannot be the best if you do not do the best. You be the best to become the best. So whatever that you want to do, you have to do what the best in whatever <coughs> you are doing. Before we pray, I'm going to ask Pastor Masid just to come and speak some few words. Dumela, Nekai, hey, get another one, Pastor. There is a thin line. Very thin between passing and fading. I believe it is still three forties and three fifties. You are allowed to fill one subject. Mm -hmm. On the three, you when you go to write exam, when you prepare for the examination, it means you must gather your subject according to your strength. This ones I'm going to, this three, I'm going to get 50%. Then this three, because I'm struggling, I'm working towards a higher mark, but I can go up to 30. You have already passed. But if there is a subject that is giving you trouble, you need to concentrate on that subject like life depends on it so that you don't drag the school down. The principal says he still wants the 100% they got last year. In order for you to contribute, group your subject, if your strength is in the science subject, life science, mathematics, and physical science, you know that here I'm going to get 70% each of them. But this one's I'm struggling. But basically, what I normally tell learners is that uh, languages plus LO, already they give you that, 14%, 50%. The fifth, yes, they already give you that. But you can work. If you want to go to university, you need to do better than that. You need to aim higher. And how do you do that? It is attitude. Hey, I wish I had something to write. The word attitude, if you can write it down and have a, a is one, T, you know, the, it's 20, then you add those uh, numbers, it gives you 100. Meaning is the most important word 
for a school learner, for anyone who wants to achieve better things in life. Attitude towards your school work, attitude towards your teachers, attitude towards life, attitude towards your future, it gives you 100%. Uh, when we live here, you can group yourself, you write the weight attitude, you put numbers on each weight, you will see it gives you 100. Every time a person changes attitude towards something, you become positive. You work towards achieving your goals. It is important to have goals in life. What do you want to achieve? And you let no one talk you down on your goal. There is no limit. People say the sky is the limit. It's no longer the limit. You can go beyond. If there are, if you don't have the right attitude, to achieve your goal is difficult. Uh, where I'm staying, we have a neighbor. When I, when I started staying there, the child was just loitering. Then I went and asked, why is this child not at school? They say well, she applies, they don't take her anywhere, and there is no money to take her. But uh, it was last year. I said in 2024, January, she will be at university studying using a bursary. Then I called her, I used uh, this gadget to make applications at UNISA and NSFAS and we prayed for the application. Now she is studying at UNISA through NSFAS Bazaar this year. Because I believed and I believe in you. Attitude, your attitude towards your teach. You know, you, you cannot pass a subject that you have a negative attitude towards the, the educator thereof. Because every time she, he or she comes into class, you will be agitated. You will have a negative attitude towards that teacher you will also have a negative attitude towards the subject. That's why I say 100% change of attitude brings greater things in life. You can do anything you lay your mind on. You can achieve anything If you can make it at a village like this one and pass away, you can go. Uh, these days there are no more boundaries. You can from here go and study in the U.S. through bazaars. And that is unbelievable sometimes. People just say, I'm just talking. But we... I do have learners from my previous school where we applied scholarships and they went and studied in America. After finishing, they joined the Navy in America. Uh, the, the, the U.S. Is not, does not want to release them to come and study in South Africa. Because they are good. There is no limit. You can study anywhere. You can do anything you put your mind to. Don't sell yourself short. 
I think.